legacy I would like to leave here is just my passion for the game. There is Bree Taylor, defensive specialist extraordinaire. Brianna Taylor. Underneath there's Taylor. Bree Taylor off to the races. And Texas simply running away. We need a spark, we need some energy that coach and the fans and my team can depend on to bring that. You can always count on Bree Taylor to bring the energy night in, night out for this Texas women's basketball program. And case in point, some more good work on Monday night against Florida State. A late night. So first off, Bree, how are you feeling after double overtimes and the trip to Florida and back? Uh, I think I'm still just running off that energy, that adrenaline, still pumping, still feeling it from last night. It was a great win. What was that experience like? Uh, it was very fun. I haven't been in a double overtime, I don't think, ever. So, um... Of course, I had to watch the second overtime from the bench, but it was just great seeing all my teammates out there and giving them some words of encouragement along the way. I saw at one point when you sat down on the bench, Tina Thompson was there. She just kind of patted you on the knee and had some words. Do you remember what that message was? Uh, I think she said you played a great game, Bree. I think that was my fifth foul, actually. <laughs> so... Well, you did, and it was a vital part of the win, and that's something that Coach Aston always talks about, that your contribution to the team doesn't always show up and is not always reflected in the box score, mm -hmm. but they cannot do what they're doing right now without you as kind of the glue player for this team. What does that mean to have such high praise from your head coach? Um, I love it. I've learned to embrace my role here, learn to settle in and just um, – embrace the role of being the glue or the I guess someone someone called me the trash player and uh, I don't know how I feel about that but I, I, yeah, I guess it's not, kind of it doesn't sound so good it doesn't but um, I mean someone has to do it and I love it and I love uh, getting out there and getting dirty with my team how do you think you have grown as a person and as a player from the time you first arrived here um, of course, when you come in as a freshman from high school, you think you're going to do all these great and wonderful things. And um, as I've learned over the years is that sometimes you just have to really just settle into your role. And I think Coach Aston has done a great job of, you know, putting that on me. And um, as, as I become a senior, it's become easier because I have teammates that I know I can rely on day in and day out. I trust with everything. If I know if I can't go, they can pick it up. You know, they have, we have scores. We have everyone that can do, that has a specific role. And so with her giving me that job, I feel more comfortable taking that on because I know I have teammates that I can trust. And you were here really near the start of this whole era with Coach Aston, one of the first classes, and you've seen it really been built up to this level. When did you realize that something potentially special was happening with this program, with this collection of players under Coach Aston? Um, I think it was around the time, I think it was my sophomore year, uh, NECA went down. And it was kind of hard for the team to, you know, get back on the wagon and just keep on going without our star player. And as the season went on, I think that everyone just started gluing together and, and mashing together and becoming one again when NECA went down. It was, of course, it was tough. You know, she was our star player and it was just, it was, it was tough at first, but just to see us, how we came together at that point, at that moment with the coaching staff as well, I think that was just the, the moment I knew that, you know, we had a special team. And now you have a lot of those special moments. 19 straight, we've heard the mentality of day in, day out, just focusing on what's next. But to have this kind of success and knowing all the work that's been put in, how is this team embracing it, the fun, the, the togetherness, and the achievements that you're having in this great run? Um, this team is very special. Um, I talked to them earlier and said, you know, just one game at a time. And of course, Coach always emphasizes that, you know, the next game is the most important game. So. I think we just look at it like that. And uh, I think Coach mentioned before, uh, it was actually our uh, pregame speech yesterday. She was saying that she doesn't think that we even realize like the court that we're on, we're just out there playing. And I think that is the most special thing about this team is that it doesn't matter if we're home or away, we're just out there having fun. So that's what, a special thing. Finally, what's next for you at your basketball? Uh, so I've been going back and forth, and I think I finally settled in with I'm, I'm definitely going to commission to be an officer in the Air Force. Wow. Yeah, so it's exciting. That is. Uh, <laughs> so, I mean, everyone always asks me, am I nervous, am I ready? But I think um, this team and being a part of this program has greatly prepared me for the next step in my life. I don't know if I should shake your hand or salute you. <laughs> but you're not there quite yet, so I'll shake your hand. Bree, thank you so much for joining us. Congratulations on everything you've done so far in the career. And we know a big finish is coming up as well. Thank you.